Hey guys. Oh, camera's right there. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update about what's going on. I know the videos have been kind of lackluster here and there, but I promise starting next Monday, there'll be more vlogs. I'll have more exciting stuff for you guys. Um, for example, we have pre-band camp stuff coming up, and so that should be pretty cool. Um, I'm also helping out with the Tournament of Roses mailers that should be going out to high schools in about a couple of couple weeks or so, so that should be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm just pretty much chilling this summer. I'm sure all of you are chilling this summer, enjoying yourselves out in the nice, beautiful weather that we're having out here. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd check in. Um, one thing that I'm going to do in this video is show you guys the latest hot thing that's going on, which is bullet journaling. Um, I've been doing it for about a month or two months now, and I thought I'd show you my bullet journal and maybe it'll help out music students to incorporate bullet journaling into their everyday music practicing routine that you have going. Um, I've been using it to log my uh, my pieces, um, and double tonguing BPMs that I'm logging, breathing exercises, scale exercises. So um, I thought in this video I'd show you my bullet journal and maybe it'll inspire you to go ahead and maybe incorporate it into your everyday music schedule. So let's take a look. So here is my bullet journal. It's a basic black, I believe it's a moleskin. Yes it is. It's a mole moleskin. <laughs> I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Please uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's a nice leather um, journal. Um, when doing bullet journaling, it doesn't matter what notebook you have. You can use just a regular notebook or, um, or maybe just a couple pieces of paper. but. Um, for now, I'm using this um, nice leather moleskin or moleskin <laughs> um, journal um, that I got from Staples, but you can also order it on Amazon. Um, so yeah, um, let me see. Open it up. I have my my name in here. I have my just in case it get lo it gets lost. <laughs> I have my. Um, Gmail address and as a reward for discussion, I guess. <laughs> if someone should find it, there should be like a little reward. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> so here's the, I guess if you want to call it a title page. Um, I just kind of decorated it, just called it a bullet journal, June to August 2016. And I just decorated the, um, just the first page of it. Um, according to the bullet journal guides, I'll put a link about the whole bullet journaling, um, I guess community. Um, I'll give you a link to the YouTube page for the official bullet journal page that they have on YouTube so you can um, look into more um, ways on how to bullet journal. Um, one of the ways or one of the guidelines is to create an index. And the index is basically like a table of contents. Um, you number all your pages in your bullet journal. I started off strong, but then towards the end, it just kind of <laughs> dwindled off. So, but again, this is my first bullet journal. So <laughs> um, maybe in my next one, I'll try to keep up with the index. So there you go. Uh, going on to the next page, I have a key. Again, um, I'll give you the link to um, the bullet journal community and the guidelines. Um, again, this is one of the guidelines that they suggested is to have a key. Um, the key consists of these little symbols on the side. Um, you have a dot for a task. Um, you do an X as a completed task. Um, you have migrated task, forwarded task. Um, a line straight through the task is irrelevant for a deleted task. Um, open circle is an event, a dash is a note, um, an asterisk is a priority or urgent, and you have an exclamation point which is research needed. So there you have it. Um, let's see, what do we have? Again, this is my first bullet journal, so <laughs> it's a little messy. Um, 
This is the future log and you're supposed to put in the first, I think six months or so, and just kind of put in um, important dates. Of course, I didn't finish it all. And of course, during the year, it'll vary some stuff. Um, it's deleted out and some stuff stays. So um, it's kind of messy, but I'm still trying to learn the whole thing about bullet journaling. Um, one thing about doing bullet journals is that you can decorate it or put little doodles however you want to do it. Um, I'm still trying to work on my <laughs> handwriting or making it a little bit more cooler or funkier or just like really nice and kind of calligraphy like. It's kind of coming along but not really. But um, in the beginning my bullet journals were kind of messy it's just trying to get used to everything as you can see but um, I'm just gonna go through some of my basic what I was doing so far but let me take you to um, August and show you what I have for it so this is the August spread um, so basically for each month, you're supposed to go ahead and put down all of the days of the month on one side and then on the other side, you also have the days of the week. Um, for each day, you put in different events or any special occasions or whatever's coming up for the month, you put it next to the date. Um, you can see all my paydays. Yeah, payday. Woo! Good. Um, <laughs> um, I put in um, registering for classes, maybe color guard workshop coming up, getting a new bike coming up, um, my birthday's coming up on the 23rd, um, entrance exams sometime this week around there. So as you can see, um, you just put in all the events that you have going on for the month. On the other side, you're supposed to put in your monthly goals. And my monthly goals are just based, you know, just your basic. Um, keep up with water, my water intake, exercise goals. Um, one of the things that I do as a hobby is that I take circus classes. And I'm a trapeze student at um, Circus School LA, so I like to take um, as many trapeze classes as I can. But I know that during the school year, I won't be able to take as many, so I'm trying to see if I can take either an advanced aerial conditioning class or just another trapeze class on Saturdays. But um, I might be putting up some videos of my performances or some of my classes that I take in trapeze. So again, that's another reason why you should subscribe so you can see circus classes and me up on the trapeze. Yeah! So um, look forward to those as well on this channel. Anyways, heading back to the goals. Um, again, I'm purchasing a new bike. Um, I have school supply shopping, regular shopping for the fall semester, and of course ordering my books from Amazon because they're cheaper than going to the bookstore. <laughs> and I have August Habits. Actually, it's supposed to say August Habit Tracker, but I ran out of room, so I just put August Habits. Um, a habit tracker is basically all the habits you want to keep track of, whether it's practicing or keeping up with your water goals or exercise or veggies. If you want to track how many veggies you're eating during the day, you can put this on your habit tracker. Whatever you want to track, you put it in the habit tracker. And of course, for each day, you can color in the boxes for each one completed. Um, I have a half of a box. If I am trying to drink eight glasses of water a day, but if I only drink half of my of my goalie intake of my I'm sorry <laughs> of my um of my goals um, whether it's like four cups of water then I do a half of a box um, again with exercise I try to do 30 minutes to an hour if I just do half of that then I'll just do like a little half box and of course if I didn't do it then there's these little stripes so um, again, you can go ahead and um, customize this to whatever you want to do it, but for mine, these are my habits that I'm trying to track for August. 
And on the next page, we have the August practice habit tracker, I guess, or whatever. Um, I thought I'd do the same thing as with the habit tracker that they have for the regular bullet journaling, but I would doing this for my regular music practice. So in this case, I have scales that I want to keep track of, double tonguing, breathing exercises, my two pieces that I'm working on, and finger technique exercises. So I know if I'm on the right on the right track and then plus it looks good when you completed a task and just to see the completion in the nice pretty colorful boxes you can choose any color to color them in of course and so far so good <laughs> on the habit tracker for practicing um, I also have a scale tracker I think this is a good idea to to have in your bullet journal and basically I'm just tracking how fast I can do my scale and at the same time it keeps me refreshed with the actual scales that I'm learning um, for right now I'm trying to learn the rest of the minor scales which includes natural um, harmonic and melodic so I'm trying to <laughs> go ahead and go through all of them um, I think for one month I had if I can find it uh, one month I did I think for July I did um, I did all major scales and so um, see, what's this, one? this one is for the month of I believe this is July I think July I did most of my minor scales and so for the next half of the month of August I'm gonna finish up the rest of the minor scales but let me see if I can show you as you can see here's another practice habit tracker I did for July you know as you notice there are some days I did not practice which are mostly on weekends because I have a lot of things to do but um, for Monday I didn't practice that's not good <laughs> on Tuesday so at least you can see your habits and what days you're not practicing so you can go ahead and keep up with your practicing but let me see if I can show you. Um, I guess it was June. So let me go ahead and see if I can find that one for you really quickly. Um, here we go. So I did the one for all my major scales and I went through them and I also been I also track the um, BPMs that I can do them. So at least I can see if I can um, play my scales as fast as I can and it helps with my pieces that I'm learning so at least my fingers know um, what combinations to use so learning your scales is a good thing it's like taking your greens you know you have to do them you have to learn your scales major and minor is really good so I thought this is a good idea to put in your bullet journal um, another thing that I'm doing in the bullet journal, or in my bullet journal, is my breathing log. I try to see how long I can hold a note for, and of course this also helps me to expand my lungs. It's kind of like a muscle technique. The more I do it, the more I can expand my lungs so I can, um, so I can play longer phrases without always having to take a breath. So I give myself at least three tries on one note. And of course I have my timer and I go ahead and I log in how long I can hold a breath. Um, so far I have 31 seconds. These are seconds by the way. Um, actually my best is 32 seconds so this is pretty good. So each day I just go ahead and I log it in. Another log that I also have is double tonguing. My double tongue skills aren't that great, <laughs> but at least I have a log so I can see how fast I can do it. Um, again, I'm a work in progress, so each day I try to see if I can amp up the BPMs in terms of my double tonguing exercises and see if I can do them as fast as I can and as cleanly as I can. So this is another um, good idea to put in there. Um, what else do we have? Yes, I have my Mozart log. Um, I'm learning the Mozart Concerto in B major, 
and right now I'm trying to bump up the speed of my Mozart piece as much as I can. Right now it's at 95, but I like to work it up to at least 115 or 120. And this Mozart log kind of keeps me um, on track to see how many BPMs and if I'm going to um, see if I can get this as fast as I can. And it's also cool just to kind of look back to your progress and see how far you've come. So I'm doing Mozart. And of course I keep a couple extra pages just in case I need to continue um, the log on the next page. So um, I also have my foray log. I'm learning um, foray fantasy. And I'm also keeping track of all the BPMs. Um, I'm also learning to see if I can also bump up the speed and also learning as many measures as I can. Um, this piece is about three pages long and it's a really technical piece, especially the second half. The second half is really technical, so I'm trying to learn it as in a steady pace as I can. So I keep track of it by putting which measures I learn and um, my, BP, my BPMs <laughs> so I can keep track of that. So. We have that, and of course, in every bullet journal, you have your weekly spread. And with that, I kind of keep track of what I'm doing on a daily basis. Um, you can probably use this for all of your for all your homework assignments, um, any events you have going on. I'm also keeping track of how much water I'm. <laughs> Um, drinking on a daily basis so that's a cool thing again with bullet journaling you can go ahead and put in as many cute little doodles as you can <laughs> as you want um, another cool person to watch on YouTube and I'll put the link in the description below um, is boho berry oh my gosh like her doodles are on point they are so amazing I mean it's just they're very nice and clean and straight. You guys should watch her channel for, um, just for inspiration on bullet journaling because she has amazing, just amazing handwriting and doodles. Um, I'm still trying to practice doodling. It's okay, but it's not the best. Um, as you can see, um, Another cool thing you can do is do your meal plans for the week, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I haven't actually completed it all yet, but um, you can do this as an idea for your bullet journal. Um, but as you can see, I'm trying to do cute little doodles as much as I possibly can. <laughs> um, yeah, it's still a work in progress. It's all right, but at least I'm trying. I guess the more I practice, the better it'll get. So, but yeah, there you have it. That's the bullet journal and again you can I think for music students I think it would be a really cool idea to use a bullet journal for all your um, for all your practice exercises and just logging in your progress on pieces and on just different things that you're learning so I thought I'd show you mine and I hope you enjoyed it or it'll give you inspiration to go ahead and do your own so there you have it you guys yay so there you have it. That's my bullet journal. Yay. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gives you inspiration to do your own bullet journaling. Um, again, uh, next Monday, it looks like I'll be starting up pre-camp activities and you'll see more vlogs going up um, every Monday pretty much from here on out. Um, we're beginning the start of a new semester, so I'm sure you guys are already starting your own semester. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys still continue watching. Um, again, I'll have more more vlogs, and I'll try to vlog my um, my other days as a trapeze student at Cirque School, so you guys can see the other side of my my life, I guess. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I hope you guys subscribe and I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like it. Um, and so I hope to see you guys next week with another really cool vlog and have a great day or evening. Peace out.